professional dick eaters. It's not a good Wait, value. what? Can professional what eaters? Wait, Aspen. The world have seen ashes of creation for what it is. Hey, what up, boys? So with That's the recent it. roadmap announcement, there is something people are focused on overshadowing the positives that were shown. So I want to get the controversy out of the way first so we can focus on what matters. Farming copium and converting that to ad revenue to fuel my pizza addiction. But before we get into that, sit back, relax, and grab yourself a... I was about to say, is he not going to do the can pop? Ola, because $120 to test a game that quite literally doesn't exist. Sorry, I said 200 earlier. I guess it's $120 to test a game. <laughs> I'll focus today. Being Wait, covered. does it just look this bad or is it my quality? Premium? By basically all the creators not huffing Steven's farts. So let's discuss this because I'm not quite sure why this is suddenly riling everyone's feathers. Ashes of Creation has been a cesspit of money-grabbing FOMO since day one. Now, with all that- Do they have, like, multiple packs that you can buy? Because we were just talking about this the other day. I don't really pre-order things or games anymore. I don't really do the Founders Edition before the game comes out, because I've learned my lesson from Maverick, Diablo, Atlas. I remember pre-ordering Atlas 2, and I don't think I even played it. I launched it, closed out the game, and un installed that bollocks out of the way let's begin shall we Outrage for Alpha 2, a discussion by the Dented One. So, with the recent announcement of Alpha 2 keys returning at the colossal price of $120, $110, That's and $100 for their respective... Alpha 2 first wave item for $120, Alpha 2 first wave item for $110, and the other one's $100. So, yeah, they're doing, they're doing, like, the little FOMO thing, or until supplies last. And the more expensive ones, you only have, like, a limited time window. The FOMO tactic, huh? Phases, which, by the way, for clarification's sake, as I see a lot of people confused about this, if you buy one phase, you do gain access to all future phases, as well as the beta phases, as confirmed by Steven on Reddit recently. But I digress. A lot of interesting takes have been coming out from various outraged content creators. I think that it's very obviously cap- <laughs> Why is it so loud and it's shaking? <laughs> Fertilizing on FOMO, it's wild that we will be paying this sort of money to test someone's game for them. Now that My is eyes. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's quite a lot just for an alpha two. I've never seen a, a, a testing period phase sell a sale as bad as this. Never. Interesting takes, guys. But allow that's true though. I I don't remember how much it was for Diablo Four. Wasn't it also around like eighty to a hundred dollars to get early access? But it was like early access of the release, like the full shebang. And this is just to test out the alpha. Allow me to introduce you to seven months ago when the prices for these keys were actually pushed with a bunch of vaporware FOMO cosmetics for two hundred and fifty dollars, and nobody bats an eyelid. FOMO, for those of you who don't know, means fear of missing out. A very common and exploitative tactic used by the gaming industry and real life retailers. Yeah, the whole while supply lasts and you have a, like a small window, the $120 pack, you only have, a, I think it was like less than a month. Like, it preys on natural human psychology to create false scarcity that drives you to make a purchase you might not have made for fear of, yes, you've guessed it, missing out on exclusive items. Prior to Alpha 1, access to the game was being sold for $500. Also jacked up by a shitload of cosmetics that don't exist. $500? When you're buying early access to it with like the initial $500, does that only give you access for like, I don't know, a couple phases of their early stuff? Do you not get early access to the entire thing until it releases or what? It's Star Citizen all over again. Dude, $500. You get a pin and a medal, maybe a forum title. Jesus, dude. You pay to alpha test, let that sink in. Yeah, exactly. And I've been stupid about this practice ever since back. Like, I want to know how many people actually did it. Then, I, I feel simply bad. do not agree with Ashes of Creation's monetization methods, and that's why I've never used any of their pyramid scheme style referral codes, and I will continue to never use them. But just take the bag, bro, otherwise someone <laughs> else will. 
Take what bag? You only get benefits when the game actually launches, and I'll be grave dust in my coffin by the time that happens. <laughs> but Steve and his team have always claimed that they don't need. Okay, but like that, at least the bone doesn't look too bad. Speaking of street facts, yeah, I like this guy. He's, he's honest. Our money that the game is already uh, fully funded by his infinite bank of holding, and that you should not purchase these keys. The bottom line is, I am committed to this project's success and completion. And that means that when it comes to... Damn, dude. Look at that guy's background. What is that? Like marble floors? That's a nice fucking house, dude. What? So that's where all the money went. That's really nice. For the additional years that perhaps were not planned for, that's coming out of mine and John's pocket. But then he'll gush. After everybody pays the 500 buckaroonies and the 120 for all the keys, right? In the very same live stream about how amazing this world boss is, how impressive these story arcs are, and how the game is starting to feel really great, guys. But that is, is just it? standard exploitative FOMO tactics. Here's the problem with these keys and why people don't agree with it. Intrepid changed the whole meaning of what this Alpha 2 was supposed to be and what they spent eight years selling it as. People who spent the money were expecting the Alpha 2 launch to be a fully persistent game as stated by themselves in their Kickstarter. And I quote, Alpha 2 phase is planned as a persistent testing phase of the game. This means access to the testing servers will remain open and available until launch. So it's not? It's just gonna be like a little, little phase. I was looking forward to it, but I wasn't extremely excited and hyped about it jumping out of my chair, you know, but it's, it's looking pretty doom and gloom, guys. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for me to sit there and be like, hey, here's $120. Let me test out your game and give you feedback. You can't just change the I mean, I guess if you really care about it, it's like an investment for a good game, right? For you to play in the long run. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Test goals for phase one. Scalability and stability. Sounds like it should be a free thing then if you want a lot of people to come on. Not $120 for you to test the scalability and the stability of our game. That's actually wild. Slap a $120 <laughs> price tag on it. I think everyone is going to be okay with it. I think We're our ready. Alpha 2 has over 100,000 people that have purchased into it. So it's a pretty significant testing. Event. Yeah, and we that's, were originally and going 30,000. I know. Now it's... <laughs> Obviously, that explodes when we get closer to Alpha 2 testing. Is the 100... Sorry, 100,000 people. Are they lying or what? There's no way. That's 12 mil, 100k people. 1,000 testers you had back in January 2023. I mean, hey, you know, there's 8 billion people in the world. Some people are going to fall for it. Not enough testers for you to get proper feedback? What other developer has had the privilege of having over a hundred thousand testers to ensure their systems are presentable to the public? We're right off the back of massive Kickstarter scams like Chronicles of Valeria, Dreamworld, and Camelot Unchained. So it's paramount that Ashes of Creation avoids the same tropes these games went through or risk being labeled the same as them. Regardless of how like the good exact the game looks or how impressive if their team it is sounds a good pretty game scammy. alone isn't enough to succeed in this age of social media large content creators can literally tear your game down at the whiff of some blood money your public perception matters a lot instead of learning from mistakes and growing as a company like i'm trying to help them understand through various videos they choose to bury their head in the sand and pretend everything is okay everything is not okay but it's okay to admit that in every single one of my videos a tr I, I don't really know how believable that is with ashes of creation is actually living up to the name as it's ashes from our creation from <laughs> a game that will burn to ashes on release if it will make it there Addressing community concerns, I explicitly state still support Intrepid and we hope that they take our concerns and learn from them like they promised they would these last three years. Nobody is asking Intrepid for dates on this roadmap. Nobody asked you, Steven, to drop a quarter announcement last year. Nobody put a gun to your head and asked you to do this. Logan like some Paul people. had a better NFT game called Zoo Catastrophe which had better promises. <laughs> That's crazy. Acclaiming. Because I think there was a gun to their head. And it was a lot of community people. 
I think sometimes Intrepid Studios, or maybe just Steven, forgets the audience that he's trying to appeal to. The jaded MMO veterans who are desperate for a good MMO, and the younger audiences who have heard the amazing stories of how good an MMO can be. Is it really surprising that people who have spent the last 20 years being screwed over again and again and again by corporate are acting defensive and hostile when you're hell-bent on using deceptive marketing practices and avoiding the truth because that's all we want the truth i yep. think that steven and the team could have done such a better job by just saying guys listen running this shit's expensive it's taken longer than we've expected inflation is high we're low on money we're charging Facts. 120 bucks for the alpha. You can't start preaching to content creators. That would be really nice. Sometimes, like, honesty is all we need, right? Bad decisions when you're terrified to tell us the state of the game. These problems that are arising right now, this huge explosion of controversy, are the exact things that I was trying to preach in my video. The exact things that I knew were coming if Intrepid continued to ignore outstanding concerns from the community. And don't get me wrong, right? Obviously, game development is difficult and ashes of creation mm -hmm. is an incredibly ambitious game but and making mmos is freaking expensive isn't it like one of the most expensive things you can make is an mmo and a lot of times it's not really worth it because a lot of them just flop but you can't expect people to care when you've tried to milk them with Kickstarter packs you claimed would have the game released by 2020. We are still operating under a before 2020 for launch, friends. And I don't foresee that changing. However, if it did, you'd be the first to know. Before 2020. Still 2020. Hmm, official launch will be the <laughs> first alpha will be this year. Release is going to be before 2020. It's definitely not a good plan to make an MMO. Yeah, no, it's it's expensive as hell even riot right i don't know what they're cooking up but they're struggling a little bit there too right scrapping their whole plan starting over or maybe not we'll never know or making two different ones a monetized battle royale with a battle pass containing cosmetics that don't even exist in your game anymore so you had to make refunds a 500 dollar oh alpha one testing phase that you claimed helped development but now seemingly has no relevance to the current alpha two due to nothing actually existing from that phase, followed by three years of selling FOMO $250 access to a test we still can't play, then presenting a $120 Alpha 2 key that yeah. has nothing else attached to it except the promise of an unplayable bug-ridden Alpha test that cannot be criticized after eight years. That sounds pretty, pretty crappy, dude. Yet people still cave in. Yeah, apparently 100,000 people caved in, right? Because it is, after all, only an Alpha. Can you really not see why there's a backlash here he does look kind of cute but it looks like it looks like a sort of a baby face you know yeah. consequences to your actions is what normal people call it <sighs> Ultimately, I just want the game to be good. And if Sorry. this Alpha 2 ends up being four years, five years, six years, guess what? I'm still going to be here giving Intrepid Studios feedback, preaching against these scummy monetization practices, and working my ass off 18 hours a day <laughs> trying to pay my Sorry. rent, making videos for a game that quite literally doesn't exist because I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And I'd have hoped the audience I've grown over the last four years built off the back of Ashes of creation would be enough to help intrepid see how many people like me there really are i simply cannot support the monetization methods chosen to fund this game and i've said this for the last four years but i good for him to being able to voice that will continue to root for the team at intrepid studios as they're clearly cooking up a fantastic game that i believe will shake up this genre because I'm high on copium. Aren't we all? <laughs> professional dick eaters. It's not a good Wait, value. what? Can professional what eaters? Wait, Asmin. <laughs> professional dick eaters. It's not a good value. It's all fake. They've tricked you into believing a lie and living inside of a box that they built to make money. Stop doing that. Yeah.
Listen, listen to the knowledgeable ones, right? If you guys want to see this video yourself, I'm gonna copy this here. Asmund is always based. Yeah, he is. Liked. Oh, I never subscribed yet. That's crazy, though. I hate to feel like doom and gloom about Ash as a creation. I remember hearing about Ash as a creations a long time ago, and I was super hyped up for it. And then there were so many games that I ended up being super disappointed about that was overly hyped that I've just become numb to a lot of these games and the hype for it i'm just like eh whatever you know i'm just gonna wait until it releases and form my own opinion when i can actually play the full game the games i'm looking forward to is good single player games i need to wake up you know awaken my inner gamer and find a way to enjoy single player games that have fantastic story in them it's awful guys i don't know what's wrong with me